I'm Mary for Creation TV, and with me is Jacob Kogan, who plays one of three versions of Spock, who is here today. Um, tell us, what was the audition process like? The audition process, I mean, it wasn't that uh, that intricate. Um, uh, we, I, I just, because I live in New York, and the uh, the company was in LA, so um, we just, I went in, took an audition, except the, the, the movie was very secretive, so mm -hmm. on the script, instead of saying Young Spock, it said Young Gill. <laughs> you know, because they couldn't let anyone find that script. So, um, could you take the script home, or did you have to read it oh, just no, there? No, we had to. We, I mean, I think we, we, we. I think just because it was, um, it had a different name. We, mm -hmm. it wasn't. You know, that was the most they did. But like, no, it was a really secretive thing. But yeah, I mean, the audition. Uh, yeah, I just read it at home. Went in, took a tape. They sent it into uh, to to L. A. And apparently, they liked it. Do you know how many people you were up against for I, the role? I have no idea. Mm -hmm. Not a single idea. I kind of don't want to know. You know. <laughs> what was your initial reaction once you found out you got the role of Spock, Young Spock? Uh, I don't know. Like when I when I found out it. I knew that it was such a classic character, but mm -hmm. I didn't really understand the grandeur of it. I mean, I, I was psyched, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, any part is good, and Spock is even better, mm -hmm. but you know. No, it was cool. Did you have any idea of um, all the fan hype that was behind it on the internet for a couple of years before the movie went, while it was in development? Uh, I didn't know mm -hmm. um, until, I mean, I didn't even know there was a Star Trek movie. Even when mm -hmm. I got the audition, they didn't tell me it was Star Trek, you oh. know? S but um, after I found out, you know, on the set especially, like, uh, someone would get a photo of the corner of someone's sleeve and it would leak on the internet and everyone would flip out. And I realized that there was a lot of, uh, lot of hype about this movie. Now, did they do a screen test of you with the haircut and the eyebrows shaved, or did you just have to go in and do that when you shot the movie? Um, no, I, I, I just went in and, you know, they chopped off my hair, shaved off my eyebrows. And that must I, have been weird. I think <laughs> they knew what they were, I mean, they knew what they had mm -hmm. to do, but they didn't do any testing or anything like that. Mm -hmm. They just said, okay, go in and get your, get, you know. And you had to go back to school it. after yes, filming like that? I did. I had to go back to school and spent two months with, you know, a terrible haircut <laughs> and terrible eyebrows. Excellent. Painful. So um, you have an, uh, an awesome fight scene. Oh, yes. Um, you said you had to do some training for that. What was that like? Yeah. Uh, I had combat training, actually. It was pretty cool. The guy was like this really cool martial arts, you know, specialist. And me and the, uh, the two other guys mm -hmm. who were there, because they didn't actually know at first which kid I was gonna fight with, so they had two kids um, train, mm -hmm. and we all did all this really cool stuff. So we were like, you know, try, uh, falling back five feet onto pads and mm -hmm. like doing all these moves, choreographing the fights, and um, no, it was really fun. Really a, lot fun. Of, a lot of training for a, a very short scene. Yes, right? <laughs> we did like half an hour of like stretching every day wow. and no but it was cool it was really cool so this is your second convention appearance yes. um have you ever met mr nimoy before and zach no i have not met leonard nimoy i've met zach mm -hmm. um zach i met on the um on the set mm -hmm. and you know at at other at the premiere and mm -hmm. i i just saw him here um but yeah zach is a really great guy i wish i you know i could meet leonard but I'll prob that'll probably happen at some point mm -hmm. and um but zach is he's cool he's like you know, he's not what you'd expect, because, like, on Heroes, he's, mm -hmm. like, some evil dude, and on here, he's this, you know, logical Spock, but he's just a normal, he's cool guy. Yeah, he's really laid back. You were pretty laid back on stage, too. How was that for you? There's a lot of people in I that was, auditorium. I was really nervous backstage. Mm -hmm. I was getting butterflies in my stomach, and when I first went out, I didn't really know what to say, but, mm -hmm. you know. After, that's what always happens with me when I go on stage or I'm in front of a bunch of people. I get nervous at first, but you know, after a while, you just get comfortable, mm -hmm. I guess. So you think this will be a lifetime thing for you that people will be wanting you at conventions or wanting your autograph just for Star Trek? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I'll have to see how you know how far the effect of being in a movie for two minutes goes. But uh, mm -hmm. you know, if this is what's happening already, you know, I'm sure after a while something like that's gonna happen. Yeah. Did you get to keep anything from the set, your ears or anything? Not at all. That's <sighs> you know, the set was really secretive, and I tried. <laughs> I asked if I could take the ears home as a souvenir. They're like, no, we have to put it in oh. a shredder after. You know. Wow. It was terrible. Wow. So what projects are you on to next? Um, next. Uh, I'm, I'm, su I'm shooting the second season of my TV show, which is on Adult okay. Swim. I'm shooting the second season of that in um, September, November. It's called uh, Delocated. Mm -hmm. It's uh, you know a family in the witness protection program that makes a reality TV show. 
um, <laughs> out of it. It's really funny. Awesome. But yeah, so I'm shooting the second season of that soon. So, so you like comedy? Is that the kind of work yeah. you'd like to do? And that's the thing, because uh, so far I've only been in drama except mm -hmm. for that. And I, you know, I'm trying not to get typecasted as a uh, drama person. So yeah. it's good to be in a comedy show. It's a, uh, you know, breath of fresh air, you know. Awesome. Well, have fun at the convention. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I'm Jacob Kogan from the new Star Trek movie, and you're watching Creation TV. <laughs>